Hello everyone, welcome to Asian Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity which has been released by Power Grid. Now, over here in this particular uh, notification, we'll be considering the fact that Power Grid recruitment process with respect to Gate 2025 examination. So, previous video was recorded for Gate 2026. Uh, that was just a kind of advertisement which they have released before the exam and the final number of vacancies they'll be releasing after the examination. So this is after gate 2025, the vacancies which are supposed to be uh, considered in this uh, year's recruitment process. So over here, Power Grid and C CTUIL uh, vacancies have been mentioned over here. Uh, total number of vacancies over here, 149 for electrical engineering. And in CTUIL, it is 31. Apart from that, in power grid, civil engineering positions are 33, computer science are 2, and electronics are 6. Six number of vacancies are supposed to be considered. Right. And uh, over here, you need to keep in mind, yes, the reservations uh, criteria is also there. Uh, apart from that, in the last video, when I recorded the video corresponding to the GATE 2026 examination, uh, a couple of students asked me this personally as well, sir, what were the last year's cutoffs and everything. So see, this is GATE 2025 notification, right? And these this will be based upon your GATE 2025 normalized marks out of 100. And then corresponding to that, they will be, you know, shortlisting you for the interviews. What I can do is I can just, I, uh, I can just mention over here that First of all, the dates will be 30th from 30th of September till 16th of October. You can apply for this particular position. This is your date. And now what I'll do is I'll show you what were the number of vacancies last year and what were the cutoffs last year. So these were the vacancies last year for GATE 2024. Uh, you can see the 293, 38 vacancies for CTUIL and then 47 for civil and then uh, computer science 31. Uh, after that, electronics were two. Now, what was the cutoff mark? See, they, these cutoff marks you can take just you can take an idea corresponding to that. But point to be kept in mind is the fact that these vacancies are higher. Right, last year 2024, the vacancies were more, so cutoffs can be less. This year, vacancies are a bit less. Therefore, the cutoffs can be more and it is also dependent upon the level of competition which we witnessed this particular year, right? So, just this is just for your idea that I am sharing it over here. So, okay, this is GATE 2024 cutoff marks for calling of interview, right? And this is for electrical, uh, for undeserved category, 46 marks was there. Uh, OBC and CL 39, SC 33, SC 29.67, EWS, it was uh, 34.67 and BW. D category, it was uh, 23. For civil engineering, it was 72.52 marks, OBC 67, SCST 59.14, ST 60.8, uh, EWS 67.9 was the consideration. Apart from that, computer science gate CSE paper, you can see under of category 67.88, OBC NCL 57.4, SC it was 50.73, ST it was 40.15. Apart from that, electronics, you can see your marks uh, under the category 52.67, OBC and CL 47.33, SC was 40 and ST was 39.33, EWS was 45, 45.67. So this was last year's cutoff. Now this year, it can uh, vary a bit, but you need to keep in mind correspondingly, the cutoffs can be changed with respect to the competition and the number of vacancies. Obviously, the number of vacancies are a bit less this year. So you can expect higher number, higher cutoff uh, for this particular year, right? So before applying, also keep it in mind that you are carrying your GATE scorecard and also all the necessary documents with yourself, right? So that's it from this video. Thank you for watching. Please do like this video, share it with your friends. If this video is, you know, th you think that it will be helpful for someone, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.